Hi, it's Nuke the News Media One here. What are we to do with all of this scandals, corruption, impending um, natural disasters going on, earth changes? losses of jobs, um, all of these things going on, and many, many more. What are we to do about this? What can we do? <clears throat> First thing we can do is make a plan. Plan to not be a victim. That's the first thing. Don't be a victim. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Prepare yourself. If you don't have skills, learn them. I uh, mowed somebody's grass today for 20 bucks. Okay. <laughs> That's a job. That's a gallon of milk, loaf of bread. A few other little items, maybe a gallon or so of gas in my vehicle. You know, writing your senators and congressmen and the president and all that is a good thing to do. Do that. But don't expect it to make any real change. Because from what we've seen so far... It hasn't made any changes at all. Make sure in your preparation kit that you have medications, seeds, things that you'll be able to sustain yourself and your family and maybe your neighbors as well. You can never prepare too much. And you can get so much from so little, especially if you're out of work right now. Take that time that you have and go talk to people. Get out there. The more you mingle with other people, the more opportunities will come up that you may be able to move furniture for somebody, may be able to... Uh, you know, who knows what doors will be opened. Don't sit in your house and watch TV. Yeah. That's the worst thing you can do, and that's exactly what they want you to do. Don't be a victim. That's what a victim does, is they sit and wait for help or for for whatever. There's a lot of Christians right now, they're just sitting around waiting for Christ to come back. Well, you know, he might not come back for a hundred years. We don't know. You know, we don't know. Don't be a victim. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Talk with people in your community about what you can do if a tornado hits, where to go, where to meet, plan things. You know, these things may sound crazy, but, uh, you know, don't look at it as a conspiracy nut type of thing. Look at it as an, a sane choice to make. Don't be a victim. Get out there. Use the gifts and talents that you've been given and create more talents and gifts. Help other people. Just in helping other people, you'll be given things in return. You will be, you know, you might be connected with a... Uh, an important contact that could change your life 
I mean, these things happen all the time. But they don't happen to people that are sitting around watching television, playing video games. They don't happen to these people because they are missing so many opportunities that they could be taken advantage of. What did they always say? you got to be in the right place at the right time. Well, I'll tell you what. The right place and the right time is not in your living room or bedroom watching the television or playing video games. That is the wrong place at the wrong time. Bedrooms were made to sleep in and to rest in and to, you know, recuperate from illnesses in. And, uh, you know, maybe a, a few other things. They're not dens to go into and blacken the windows and play video games all day. That's not why a bedroom was created. The living room is to live in, not exist in, and die in. There's a dining room. Do we use our dining rooms anymore? Do we sit around the table with our families anymore? Not a lot. Not a lot. And I'm guilty of this myself. It's so much easier to grab your plate and go and get out there in front of the TV and watch your favorite show while you're watching, while you're while you're eating, you know? It's so much easier to do that. And hey, I, I'm, I'm as guilty as anyone. America, we need to change the way we think because we're falling behind here and we only exclude ourselves. We can't say, hey, you left me out. No, you left yourself out when you didn't go and live your life when you didn't go and talk to people when you didn't um, interact with people and mingle you know a, a reclusive person you know can write a book they can do certain things but um what's coming we need doers people we need doers and I believe personally that the generation that I'm in I'm in my 40s and my early 40s the generation my generation and the generation older than me and the one younger than me maybe one younger than that we're the bridge generation we grew up without the games and stuff like we made our own entertainment we're the generation that's going to have to teach the youth how to work, how to exist, how to cook, how to clean, how to do so many things that we take it for granted. Don't be a victim. Please, don't be a victim. There's so many things you can do. Get out there and live your lives. Get out there and live. Do something about it. Be prepared. Keep your eyes open. Because there's a lot of lot of bad things that could happen because the, the government is in a corner and it could come out swinging and swinging hard. So we need to be ready for whatever. If another Boston is set off or another uh, Texas explosion is set off, we could have martial law implemented, people, and we've got to have doers out there. We've got to survive this thing. There's people right now in these uh, tornado areas, people from Hurricane Sandy that are still sitting without electricity and still sitting without a home. Just do it. Just do it. Apologize later. Do what's right. And if so be, pay the fine later and apologize. Whatever you got to do, bring it up to code, whatever. If you need to build your house, build it. Don't wait for the insurance company that may never pay out. Build it. Get your family and friends around to help you and build it. 
We need to start helping one another, and it's very important that we do. This is Nuke the News Media One. Over and out. Signing off. Good night, y'all.